Hey, well, what an intro. You're right, what a minute it's been. Uh, it was so good meeting you all those years back for Brace. And obviously the landscape's changed. I've been in Auckland now since then for about five years. And every year gets crazier and crazier. Um, the only time it wasn't so crazy in a less way for the fight scene was, was COVID. Uh, but yeah, it's great up here. I mean, literally in Auckland City, there is four to five events a weekend, whether it be kickboxing, MMA, um, some sort of martial art. So it's, it's hard to keep up. I can't be at all of them, but it's a fight fan's dream living in Auckland City. And has that been right through the pandemic or like was there a, a stop at some stage? Because I know, look, a lot of people always uh, like congratulate us, the Aussies, as, um, you know, handling the, the pandemic pretty well. And, and look, uh, by all accounts, we have done really well. We're, we're now back to full stadiums. Um, you know, no one's wearing a mask. We might get one case here. I, I think, you know, three weeks ago we got one case and that was the first in three months again. Um so we're, we're living pretty normal, apart from obviously the border closures, but like every time people kind of congratulate us, we always say, well, you know, they're, they're, there's our little sister nation uh, next to us, or I'll say brother nation next to us, um, you know, little two islands of New Zealand. And really you guys have been the, the, the front runner when it comes to, to handling this pandemic. So was there ever a stage where you guys really felt any sort of a knock, uh, lockdown or, or did you guys squash it pretty much from the word get-go? Well, I mean, you you talk about probably two more so from the MC side. That that was where I was most heavily affected. I was booked out six months in the head, and for six months we literally were on lockdown, in and out. We we're going through level one, and that literally meant that your your only outing or experience that you you could do was groceries, and that took one to two hours. It got to a point where you didn't want to do that anymore. So yes, not as bad as the rest of the world. I mean, look, you got London fourteen months. You guys had it, it pretty bad, but. We're lucky. So the pros and cons of being in New Zealand, even though we're a bit far away and we, we take a little bit to catch up, we've been blessed that we've been quite isolated in that sense. So, yeah, it was it was hard MC-wise and for the promoters. Um, one thing I really saw and thought would come out of all this is the who's who would make it out. Guys that were on the verge of retiring or probably thought, am I going to make it? Can I do this? May have dropped off and the real ones stayed in it. But now that we're back up and running, literally it's it's – like I said, four to five shows a week and, um, you know, the promoters, myself, everyone involved in the fight game was struggling to keep up. I mean, there was literally um, back-to-back cards till the rest to the end of the year here in New Zealand, which is a dream.